don't end up giving them something cheap and at the same time they can come back and get a quick transition opportunity work the clock for a couple of more possessions before the quarter comes to an end Smith the second inside the rim oh! and he's fouled that is a big time to the horse they're playing great Smith underneath no oh, baby Rick the jammer Inside the rip. Oh, oh yes! What a terrifically designed play. And then it goes to Davis. Into Smith's coming off the right wing with a tomahawk jam. Garnett back in the game and a lob from Miller into Smith's and he jams over Gugliotta after he hit. This man, Herb Williams and Chuck Person are the other two. Smith's getting in. Oh, it's Smith for this first bucket lead. Looking inside for Schmitz, who's got it now. Turns, faces. Baseline jumper, and he banks it home. Smith with six to go on the shot clock. He's an outstanding for a shooter for a guy. Just underway, third quarter. Smith. Rick Smith with his first two. And means more of it will come from the outside for the New York Knicks. See if Smith tries to take advantage of his height over Charles Smith. He does indeed. That will count as he shot right over Charles Smith and is fouled at three on Smith of the Knicks. Immediately, the New York Knicks find Charles Smith faced with a problem and they come right inside. Smith said, I had my hands up against Rick Smith and... Uh, once Smith has got the ball inside, they don't double him. They allow him to come across the lane. Just over a minute left in the third quarter. Trying to come back to Smith against Herb Williams this time. Smitty. Yes, and he's fouled. Herb Williams picking up the personal. Smith this time took his time and set Herb Williams up, then spun away, extended, got a good roll, as we got a timeout. Defense can really be aggressive. Again against the clock, they're down to five. Smith. Rick Smith having a big game, 23 points. Leads up three under five Miller, Workman. Smith. A great start, yeah. I'm thinking Larry Brown said this morning Scott's one of the three guys that can't beat them. He doesn't want that to happen. Nice move that time by Smith. You must guard him. Oakley. Charles Oakley. Yes, they got off to the 15 2 run. Right at the start. Indiana going right to start. And the foul. And uh, but we're going to win tonight and it'll be a game seven Sunday. All right. And too much contact on one of those guys. Pacers have not scored in this third quarter. Smith. Workman passed on the shot. Here's Smith. Smith. Another fast break. The Richard has both went down. Smith's also playing with four. Smith. In count. Last touch by the Pacers. Rick, Rick Smith matched up against Oakley because Ewing's got the fouls. The Pacers have only averaged eight. The Nick offense is efficient enough. They're not turning the ball over or taking wild shots. Stark's been under control. Charles Smith as well. Rick Smith, he's hot. 19 points. And for three, it won't go. McKee, the offensive board. Smith calls. He misses. Tap no good again. Smith's down with it, and this time he makes sure. Learned how to play well, and he plays his best when it's on the line. It appears to be a doomed situation. So play resumes just over three minutes left in the third. Pacers up seven with the ball. Smith turns on Ewing and connects. Smith's having a big game. And Orlando has recaptured the lead. They have hit 8 of 12 from the field in the second quarter. They double up on Smith. Good job on Smith. But he's won. Get the ball. Smith. Well, that's using the 7 foot 4 height advantage. Donald 
Battle Royal got him from behind. Well, just a couple of minutes ago, Brian Hill went even smaller by bringing in Donald Royal for Jeff Turner, who had three fouls. So Larry now Rich taking the opportunity to get Smith back in there, feeling that he'll... They were up 15 to 3. Indiana came roaring back with a good run. Dale Davis wide open in Rick's face with assist number... Magic with a three-point lead. Smith with a beautiful shot. Go. All right, McKee will throw in. It's got to be a catch and shoot. Here it is. Smith with the catch and the shot. We tell you, averaging over 20 points a game now in his last four starts. Victor looked at Smith, didn't get it through. Oh, oh, nice, oh, nice. Oh, oh, what a move. Rick Smith's got three Rollins up in the air and took it. He put the ball down. Yeah, what I dare call it, there was the foul right there, way before the shot. And getting Smith's in foul trouble. Smith's wide open in the post. There's the entry pass. Oh, and jams <laughs> in Ewing's face. Every pacer is now scored. Smith's playing very aggressive with a, a sense of anger. Smith went right by Derek McKee, who fouled him. Patrick Ewing is going to slap this ball away, keep it in play the way he learned from his college coach, George Tom John Thompson, who's in attendance today, and then Rick Smith right back with the... Miller coming off the screen, gets it to Smith, who misses the jam as he collides with Ewing. No whistle, and Davis got... Back over two with that miss, as Smith pulls his way and hits the hook. Sideline with three fouls, Oakley in, Starks also returns. Smith's calling for it against Mason, mismatch here. Turnaround jumper by Rick Smith, yes, and a foul on Greg Anthony. Smith has a dozen points to lead all scores and a chance at the free throw line. Anthony Mason with the flop. Smith has to just concentrate on playing basketball shot well over 50 almost 52 percent against Cleveland and continue to shoot great today as Smith can't dunk without leaving the ground. <laughs> Derek McKee up front. Smith working his way on Ewing. Beautiful stroke. Telling us during that last time out Larry Brown telling his team I want you to drive the ball at every opportunity. Don't settle for jump shots. Smith by Smith. Well, he, uh, Derek Harper getting the ball inside to Patrick Ewing, who just lost himself there, just fumbled the ball away. And the post-up situation with Oakley not having the foot speed to stay with Rick Smith. So Larry Brown telling his team. Oh. Smith looks for the open man, pulls up from 17 feet. Rick Smith has played very well tonight. It's vital. This quarter, he has done it all. He has done it offensively, hitting beat shots, and he has also done it with them playing. Jackson with the ball. There he goes, Jackson. Va a pasar ese balón a Rick Smith. Obviously, going by this series, they have not. Averaging 18 and a half turnovers in the four games against Indiana. Smith. Well, that's it. Now, I want you to take a look here at Patrick Ewing and Rick Smith. I mean, that's just loss of balance, loss of rhythm, giving Smith an easy. Antonio Davis. Reggie Miller. Here's the entry pass to Smith. He goes baseline on Patrick Ewing. Back to Smith. Again, Larry Johnson. Behind a Davis screen, and now Miller. Smith. He hit 11 of 12 from the field in game six and swishes his first one here. You see Smith moving now. And the Pacers have only one team foul with nine minutes left. Smith backing in on Kukoc. It rolls around and drops home. Plus, you can tack a foul onto it. See, there's no resistance from Kukoc. 
Smith was able to get the ball back down, and as he spent into the lane, Kukoc reached in. You see him establish the position. Now he'll take three dribbles, get his feet together, and Kukoc reaches in. He's up by one. Long by Smith. Switches over it. And another chance for a three-point play as Longley picks up his fourth foul. Smith's fighting Longley in the low post. He gets his balance and he takes the dribble, makes Longley move. Longley gets the elbow extended, pushes him off. Dick Bavilla. can do their job. Miller dumps it into Smith. Over Longley. Off start. The reason he's getting the ball is because he's... Every time down the court, they need his offensive input, and they need him to touch the ball and work the ball around and pass it or go to the hoop, like he has right now. Bob? Good call, Jimmy. That was a great screen by Antonio Davis that free that they didn't have the other night. He took the words out of my mouth. Toughness and competitiveness. You have to have that against the Bulls. The same set, out-of-bounds play. They run... Bulls by four. See if Smith can answer. He can. He's play. That's five on Jalen Rose. Now you watch Jalen Rose right here. Picks up the ball and throws the bullet right to Rick Smith down underneath. Now Rick Smith takes his time, reposts, sets up, turns around for the J. When you have a poor transition, poor transition defense after a miss or a steal, poor transition rotation even after a score. But who knows, maybe Rick Smith will get 50 tonight. He'll be playing for six games by one point, all coming down to the last shot in that of the game. Smith with the baby hook. Rick Smith, who had the big first quarter, now has 23 points. Allen try to feed it to Johnson, but it was broken up. Chris Mullen, who played for George Carl in the 80s at Golden State, when Chris Mullen was as 25. Out. The physical play underneath. Tim Thomas does a good job. He's in the right there. He's holding himself. Rick Smith keeps pushing and shoving the, the little leg lift, the little leg whip. Urban Johnson with a dunking opportunity that he tried to finesse in, couldn't convert. Nice pass. Miller extends to a 57 49. Rebounding team. Year in the year, right at 16 a game. Rick Smith. Oh, serving up a facial right at the start. Johnson, Thomas, Houston, and Canby for New York. Indiana has its familiar starting quintet in there, and here's Rick Smith. He got another one. He's still on. And he get a score. He squeezes one off. Ducked under the helping Rick by doubling on the ball, making him use some time. 12 on the clock for Smith. Smith got the roll. Soft touch, Rick. Good ball movement here. They want Smith. Smith's and Ewing again, single coverage. Smith's nice turn and uses the glass. It is 20 to 15. Nick lead is five. Yeah, just he responded. 28 21. Nick's lead by seven. Best download of Smith's. Nice speed. And Rick Smith's with an easy two. That always happens when the defense allows. He's been forcing them up, not squaring up. So Patrick must continue to let the game come to him. Miller. Down to Smith's. Smith's against Dudley. And Rick Smith with a nice shooter's touch. He has got such a beautiful touch for all the temptation in the world. He went for it, went right through Dale Davis in a mismatch, got caught. Beautiful set play here. And Smith converts on the jump minutes for Marcus Camby. Smith fouled by Childs. The basket will count. That's going to be the concern right there for. Jeff Van Gundy, they can't allow him to get that deep post uh, position. This ball is too deep, and uh, Childs realizes it, but he doesn't grab it. So he lets him get that arm. Dale Davis replacing Antonio Davis for Indiana. Nice fake by Smith. Dudley bought it, and Smith slapped. Players live for this moment. You just feel so golden. Everything is coming back. The opposition playing in slow motion. Rick Smith's ball away.
19 for Rick Smith and a chance for a three-point play as Dudley commits the foul. If the Pacers are going to lead the Garden tonight, they're not going to go quietly as uh, Rick Smith turns and fires. You know, ever since he got that traveling call, Rick Smith has been a wild. He's only 10 of 29 from the field before he connected. Now he drives by Shaq and scores again. A little dose of confidence here. And only seven in game three with a 21-point outburst sandwiched in between. Smiths again, this time against Shaq with the hook. Smiths looking to go to work again against Shaq to the left hand. He is five for five. Line better for the Lakers than the Pacers in that first half. We played more than half the period. Shaquille O'Neal is scoreless in the third quarter for the Lakers, but they've taken the lead. Not for long as the hook by Pistons, Bulls, and now Lakers. And he's going to go against Smith, and Smith is going to have inside position here. If they double, somebody's got a three. He throws up the hook. He's got 20 points, and the Pacers are within one. Now you know that Kobe's going to... Well, has had as his primary contribution guarding Shaq in practice all season. Here he's got to try and stop Smith with game four on the line. And he can't do it.